all right y'all welcome back to my channel here we are with yet another travel vlog so i'm whispering because it's super early right now um it's like 5 30 in the morning um as you can tell by the title on this trip i'm going to be going to aruba so um it's going to be my first vacation ever so i'm kind of excited about that um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to Aruba. We're flying with Air Canada, book it through Air Canada Vacations. Um, so our flight leaves at 8.30. So I'm trying to get there for 6, 6.30. And then, yeah, we head out. For Aruba, we had to take a COVID test within 72 hours. And then you had to fill out like this form where they basically have to approve you and give you permission to board a flight to get to Aruba. So we did all that good stuff. And then we got everything tonight like we got everything last night printed all our documents and whatever they ask you for your little aruba declaration paper that basically gives you permission to board your flight and so an actually has to sign off saying that yes you have permission to board your flight um if you don't do it and if you don't have that like little symbol or a signature or whatever on your boarding pass then you can't get on you have to have a physical boarding pass they do not allow the electronic boarding passes to aruba we learn the hard way um, lounges are still closed, which I didn't know. It does not show that on my app, so lounges are still closed. We have about, what, an hour to go until we board our flight. Having out little, like, care packages, like, yeah. peak little packages, but the flight's yeah. not full. There's a lot of empty seats, thank goodness. Completely different from Soup, who is completely full, but they're not, like, blocking out middle seats or anything. The flight's just not full. So it has that soul face mask, earphones, then the water, hand sanitizer, and then a wet wipe. It's cute. Starts down at the airport. Left late. We boarded at 8.05. Everyone was boarded at 8.05. Place was leave at 8.30. We didn't leave till like 8.50. Whatever. I think we still got to room in time anyway. Um, they didn't give you wipes when you first got on the flight like at Swoop on my trip I went to a couple weeks ago. But they gave you like little care packages. But when you land in Aruba now, you have to show um, either a check mark. So like that you got tested ahead of time. You got the approval to board. And then when you get down, you have to show your actual test results. They don't want to see the check mark. They need to see your actual test results. We didn't print it off. Um, so we just showed it on our phone, but we printed off the green check mark that gave us permission to come to Aruba. And then that's all they really need. And then you get one of these. So once you basically show the green check mark upstairs, they give you a tested lane pass. And then when you get downstairs, as I mentioned, you have to show the thing. They don't give you anything else. Oh no, they give you they give you a little paper that basically you have to show to your hotel showing that they approved their test results on top of that and then you just go and then they check your passport and that's it really already that is in the bus okay and i have to say you guys did very good because it's less than one hour and 20 minutes oh wow perfect so, very good. <laughs> so uh follow me the bus is waiting for us let's go that way okay and This is not a view at all. I we get the garbage. That is crazy. So they 
even give you hand sanitizer and some wipes. We're here, we're in Aruba. Um, it's like 3.30, almost 4. Happy hour is at 4.30. We're gonna go down for happy hour, we're gonna go get food because we're starving, haven't eaten all freaking day. Um, and we're probably just gonna chill by the beach to be honest. It's probably, today's just probably gonna, just gonna be a super, super chill day. order we're finally gonna eat <laughs> and then um, we're gonna walk around the town because like it's literally like right here like they have a Zara they have a Gucci they have a Dolce & Gabbana they have a whole bunch of name brand stores so we're just gonna walk around after because it's so early it's so early and it's super hot so we might as well take advantage of the day so I got the steak and mashed potatoes my boyfriend got, got the vegan, vegan barbecue platter this is mine. Steak, mashed potatoes, and like um, fried onions. This is his vegan platter. It's huge. Wow. Y'all, that food was so good. Oh my gosh, I have no complaints. We're probably gonna go there again. That's how good the food was. So it wasn't mashed potatoes that I thought. It was um, like potato wedges. And it was like sriracha potato wedges with like, I don't even know what was on top. I forget what it's called. Deep fried onions. And but there's deep fried onions on top as well. Oh my goodness. And the steak. It was so good. My boyfriend enjoyed his food too. His vegan platter, whatever it was. Amazing. Uh, amazing. After walking about 10 minutes from our hotel, we found one. We asked for an upgrade because the view here is trash and I don't want to look at garbage. So um, they're gonna move us to a street view tomorrow because we're going to do it tonight. They're gonna move us to a street view tomorrow where basically you're overlooking the Zara that I showed earlier. Um, I said it's fine, it's better than the garbage. When we walked around, literally everything was closed. There was not a single thing open, but we had to go get chased for alcohol anyway, so we just went to the gas station. Um, apparently everything closes at five, like the mall closes at five, it doesn't close at nine, like normal time in like Canada, whatever. Um, so they close at five, so we didn't go to a single thing. We just basically walked to the gas station and back. Free for Rube is 11, but it's like seven o'clock. And we're just back in our room. We're just gonna chill, watch like TV, Netflix. So we are on day two. So we finished our little meeting with the airplane and the vacations person. I'm gonna go to Flamingo Beach today. Since we're staying at the Renaissance, we do get unlimited access to the beach. Um, so we're just gonna go downstairs and catch the boat and then we're probably gonna spend all day at the beach um, So we're, we're moving we're switching rooms today So we're just gonna be ready by four So we're gonna obviously come back by four pack up and then switch rooms and then we're gonna go back down and hopefully try and catch The stores uh, because it's Sunday. They said that a lot of places are open on Sunday So we're probably just gonna have to end up staying on the resort until like tomorrow So we're about to leave to go to Flamingo Island and look at this guys it is pouring rain. So since it's raining, we're just gonna go eat breakfast at the hotel at the restaurant called Aquarius. We're just gonna eat here, and then hopefully by the time we finish eating, it's dry, and then we can go to Flamingo Island. Breakfast 
was amazing. I had French toast with eggs. Um, I swear my eggs well done, they weren't well done, but it still tastes good. My French toast was amazing. Um, I came with like papaya, strawberries, berries, and the syrup. And then my boyfriend got um, eggs benedict and he loved it as well. It was amazing. It stopped raining. And it pretty much stopped raining. Yep, and the heat's coming back. So we're probably gonna head to Flamingo Island now and then spend some of the day there. Take the water taxi at the street at Lucy's Boat Dock. Concerts it basically since COVID, and we were slowly opening up, and they prefer to be open Monday to Friday, so no one's open on the weekend. <laughs> that we like, like food that looks good, then we're just gonna eat at Lucy's and we're not even gonna bother going to Barefoot. Cause if we can just walk somewhere instead of having to pay to take a taxi, obviously we might as well do that. Dinner with a view. Uh, quesadilla. Beef tacos. He got a fish sandwich and it was human. The nachos as an appetizer, human. A new room. New view. Better than the garbage. So tomorrow, um, I think tomorrow we're just gonna do Chocolate City, which is San Nicolas. It's Ghost Schools by Chocolate City. So I think that's pretty much what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, and we're gonna try and book a tour the day after because we want to go to the natural pool, natural pool Aruba. But apparently, you can't get there by yourself, you have to do a tour. So, we're just gonna do a tour just so we can go there. It's either gonna be a Jeep tour or a UTV tour, we're just not sure which one yet. So, it stopped raining and it's finally dry outside again. Looks like it rains every morning, it's like 11 a.m. We're gonna go grab a taxi and then head to San Nicolas and then we're gonna eat there. Um, we were gonna stop at Lucy's to get nachos because they were so good yesterday, but we're just gonna eat in um, San Nicolas, get our food there. Um, we we're told to go to Baby Beach, we're probably gonna go to Baby Beach as well. So we brought like bathing suits and towels and whatever. As we walk downstairs, it's raining again, guys. All the way to San Nicolas for O'Neill's because apparently that's like the best spot, it's a Caribbean spot, and they're closed on Mondays. But we didn't know that, 
it's local and Caribbean cuisine, but they close on Mondays, so let's see. I don't know if we're gonna come back here, to be honest. It's closed Mondays, but it's open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. That's crazy, and Friday, Saturday. So while it was raining downtown by our hotel in San Nicolas, not one drop of rain, it is super hot. The bomb.com. I don't think we've had bad food here yet. It was amazing. I got tenderloin with fries. Um, my boyfriend got the vegetarian meal, which is like a pinto bean dish, like soup with rice and then a salad. Both meals come with a salad, and it was honestly amazing. It was so good. I asked him how far it is to get to Baby Beach. They said 10 minute drive. We don't have a car. He's like, you're not walking it, so we're not walking it. So we're gonna go see if we can catch the bus to bring us down. Oh, I think there's a bus. Catch the bus to bring us down there, and then the bus will also bring us back here. And then we have um, our taxi lady coming to pick us up for five so that we can get back so we can go to dinner in time for six. no taxis and no buses that go to baby beach so we didn't know that because we were told to take a taxi from san nicholas to baby beach nothing couldn't find anything the buses don't go there anymore so we asked the bus driver and the bus driver was like nah nah we can't help you so after we just walked up and down trying to find a taxi asked people no one there's no taxis okay so um while we we're walking back the same bus driver we asked saw us and then he was saying um bye to his friend and then he asked his friend to bring us to baby beach so that's how we got to baby beach we got a ride from a bus driver's friend local guy super super nice so thankful because if without them we wouldn't have been able to come to baby beach at all oh it's not even that cold Eight dollars a chair. Um, you can get two chairs and a tent. Tent looks like that, and it's sixty dollars. Um, we just got this, so we just got two chairs. So now it's at four forty-five. Um, the chair rentals they end at five. The chair rentals end at five. The beach, I believe, closes at five. I'm not sure if it's COVID hours. That's just like the regular time. Um, reservations at six for the West Deck. Specifically at six that we can catch the sunset um, at dinner. And then after that, um, the taxi lady recommended us. I asked if there's any lounges. She said there's a lounge open till Curfew's 11, open till 11 called YOLO. So we're gonna try and go to YOLO right after our dinner and then see if that's open, see if that's popping. This is how you know it's closing. There's like no one here anymore. <laughs> it's super empty. Now we're about to head out. Um, we're gonna get a golf cart to bring us we're in one renaissance, it's in the other renaissance. We're gonna get a golf cart to come and bring us to the other one and then we're just gonna walk like three minutes and then we're there. So crispy chicken sandwich. Fish cakes. And this is the what? Uh, yeah. Grouper. Yeah, grouper. Yes, grouper grilled grouper. Fish. Mm. crispy chicken sandwich it wasn't crispy like i thought it would be and the taste wasn't the greatest I got sweet potato fries the sweet potato fries were good and um, my boyfriend liked his food he got was it was it jewett 
Uh, grouper. Grouper. <laughs> he got grouper fish and fish cakes, and he loved his meal, but mine, it was disappointing to be completely honest. I wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't like the other food I had. Like, even the steak at Charlie's was better, so like it wasn't really like the other food I had, so I think I met the first, I think I met the first uh, restaurant that didn't live up to Ruba standards. All right, so we came to a lounge on basically the other side of the island where the high-rise hotels are, which is the Ryu, the Hilton, and all those places. So this is kind of the area. It's the only lounge that's open. White Russian. My side. They're playing the tune show. They're, they're excellent mixes. Excellent mixes. The drinks are fire. The garlic mushrooms are fire. It's a vibe, guys. Let me tell you that YOLO is a vibe. So YOLO's a vibe. They play lit music. Um, the drinks are like $15 US to, USD each. But um, we went somewhere called the Lazy Turtle. The Lazy Turtle after. And they have happy hour $5 drinks from 6 to 7. And then 10 to 11. Alright. So last night we had had like what? Five rounds? Like five, six rounds of drinks, we came back. Um, we just knocked out. There's nothing to do here past 11 anyway, so we just knocked out. We don't watch Netflix or whatever. So today, we didn't book our tour. So <laughs> we didn't go, we're didn't. we not going on our tour today. Um, we're probably just going to rent bikes and then walk around and look at some um, stores. And they also have a souvenir shop that I'm going to go to to get my shot glasses. Oh, excuse me, sorry, but we're pretty much just gonna stay in this vicinity. We haven't eaten yet So we're gonna ride our bikes behind there It's out of service, so we're not gonna ride it here We're gonna try and pick it up somewhere else and then see if we can still ride around It clearly rains every single day like it's raining right now It was just it was literally just sunny Bruh. Still raining um, we still continue to walk around, whatever. We got our souvenirs. Um, we walked down to the gas station. We got our chase. Um, then we rented our bikes. So we found, there's another place down there we can rent a bike. So we just rented it there. We're just going to drop it off to the place by our hotel. Um, because there's a few places on the strip that we want to hit up. It's just much quicker and easier to take a bike. My feet are swollen. So the walking is kind of out of the question. So we're just going to ride around. It was we did four hours. Um, it was thirty-six dollars total for the four hours for both bikes, and then they took a forty-dollar deposit per bike. But that being said, we ended up coming right back to Lucy's. We just did a bunch of riding up and down the little boardwalk, and now we're just going to go swimming in the pool. We honestly don't have anything planned really today. We're gonna go for dinner at this place I called, I think it's called LG Smith Steakhouse or something. It's downstairs in our hotel anyway, so it's super close. Um, we didn't make a reservation or anything. We're just gonna go walk in. How much would you like? Just 10 ounces. Try to go as close as Can I just tell you guys, their mac and cheese is the bomb.com. 
like it is so good i don't know what man their mac and cheese is so good anyways all of it was good so i got the um butcher's experience so obviously as you see um they came and they bring out the steak and they weigh it right in front of you and then you get to pick the salt that you want they put the salt on right in front of you um i got medium well i get all my steaks medium well i would say it was a more on the dry side but i had it with peppercorn sauce so like it wasn't that bad and then the mashed potatoes were good the asparagus i wasn't a fan of that but my boyfriend loved his salmon <laughs> he absolutely adored his salmon and then he got um, Brussels sprouts and the mac and cheese. And man, if you go there, you have to get the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese was the bomb.com. Honestly, you're just going to get ready for bed and then wake up like 6 or 6.45 for tomorrow. And then we're doing our excursion. Morning, y'all. It's like day what? Three? Day four? Whatever. It's Wednesday. Um, we woke up late. We have to be at the other resort for 7.45. We're cutting it super close, so... We're like on a sprint this morning. Um, it's not raining, thank goodness. And we didn't get to have any breakfast either. So we just have like little snacks that we bought from um, the gas station that we're just gonna bring with us and then like water and stuff. What was the right till now? Fun. Very fun. Oh no. No more nice road. Awesome. Oh, okay. Off-roading. All for yeah, it. It's gonna be bumpy, okay? Okay. 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 They weren't lying when they said that ride is bumpy. Holy smokes, that ride is bumpy as hell. UTVs, you can't bring UTVs anymore. Apparently people kept crashing, so that's done. But we here. Then there's only one other tour that's here before us and there's probably let's say six people on their tour besides that there's no one else here so it's relatively empty which is perfect i'm so upset i didn't bring my gopro or my waterproof case because the fish that you saw there is crazy the waves they get kind of insane i wasn't climbing anything i caught my finger um, something bit me in the water. I don't know what it is. Something bit my leg. I got cut on my butt because I was sitting on the rock. It's so beautiful. It's so warm. Like, I forgot it was even like 9 a.m. But it was so warm. Um, we, there were things like two other tours that came over there. But it still wasn't crowded. It was still just a little bit of people. <laughs> where I just videoed that was gold, mine, ruins. Um, that was just a drive-by, we didn't stop there because apparently it's not on this tour, even though I could have sworn it was, but whatever. Um, so it's not on this tour, so now we're at the natural bridge. really fun I'm really glad we didn't rent a, UT a UTV we were going to but it was more expensive to rent the UTV it was I heard it was $200 about 200 US for half a day 240 for a full day and we literally only wanted to go to the natural pool like we didn't care for anything else and then the excursion we did was 85 US per person and it was like four hours for like half days so like we got back at like basically like what one o'clock and then we got picked up at 7.45. If you have a bad back or like bad neck or like bad anything, that tour would not be for you. It was rough. 
like it was definitely rough like going to the natural pool up and down going to the lighthouse up and down like it was just rough it was just it was just rough like i i try to keep the cameras you can't even keep the camera still because there's literally just so many bumps like it was crazy but like it was definitely fun it was definitely worth it the tour did not give us food all they gave us was water bottled water it's hot today like it is hot like it hasn't rained once knock on wood i don't want to jinx it but like it hasn't rained um once and it's hot the sun is out it's booming so we're just gonna lay by the pool go and dip in the south in the pool all day um we have reservations for dinner at 6 15 at a tardy a tardy whatever i don't know how to pronounce it um so we're probably just gonna leave here like 5 45. all right okay so it's a tardy restaurant time um it's like seven it's after 7 30 and per, our reservations for eight o'clock um, takes about 15 minutes to get there by taxi because it's at the Marriott Hotel, which is in the high rise hotels or in the low rises. Um, so that's like a fancy dinner. So I'm dressed kind of fancy. Um, and then we're gonna try to go like karaoke and like stuff because I've seen that um, they have that around the YOLO area. So we're probably gonna end up staying for drinks and going somewhere else to <laughs> get some drinks. I'm um, gonna try and do karaoke. If anything, we might just hit up YOLO. Can we just get into this bag though? Do you see this bag though? Do you see this bag though? It is so cute. All right, so I got the sea pass. And it's with pureed cauliflower mushrooms and peanuts. He got the black and mahi mahi. With the beach view. And can I just tell you guys that I got sea bass tonight and I switched it up from steak and that sea bass with that cauliflower puree was so damn good. Oh my goodness. Aruba, Aruba, Aruba's not missing on these meals, okay? They're not missing at all. Like it hit like oh, I need an extra cauliflower puree like oh, anyways, it was so good. Um but so we ended up, we did end up going to do karaoke after um, our meal. Karaoke started at 9.30 and we got to the Bulldog, let's say like 9.25, whatever. Um, but the service was so slow. We ordered two drinks. It took about 10 minutes to get the drinks. And then we never saw the waitress again to order more drinks. And then my feet started to swell. My feet were hurting. And then I started to get eaten alive by mosquitoes. I'm just itchy. So we just left. We're just going to try it again in another day because over it. We're not doing anything tomorrow. We're gonna try and go to Flamingo Island super early so that we can beat the rush in the crowd, um, take a few more pictures, chill there for a bit. And then since we, they were closed on Monday, we're gonna try to go to O'Neill's again to eat tomorrow. And then that's pretty much all we're doing tomorrow. But we are gonna try to see if we can rent a car because um, I just randomly just thought about it. And I just looked it up and it looks like it's cheaper to rent a car than it is to, um, pay for taxis because even going from like from the renaissance where we're staying going to like yolo the 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 high-rise hotel strip like which is like yolo lazy turtle the places that we went to earlier even to go back and forth is 14 dollars one way which is like 20 dollars per day because like that's literally where the nightlife is so it makes more sense to just get a taxi because i just looked it up and it's like for three days it's 40 dollars canadian we pay 38 us just to go one way to said nicholas so it literally just makes more sense good morning good morning good morning good morning well good afternoon actually um we started our day super late <laughs> like it's like 12 o'clock and we're just getting ready to leave now but whatever um what are we doing today honestly what we're doing today depends on if we can get a rental car and what time we can get a rental car um because apparently you have to set it up with like the concierge or the navigator at the front desk or whatever um but the plan is to go to um O'Neill's to eat and then we're supposed to go to Flamingo Beach, but we're supposed to go early We didn't go so we're gonna I'm trying to go to the Palm Beach the Palm Beach <laughs> Whatever the Palm Island Whatever there's flamingos there and I'm trying to see if we can go there today instead then just do Flamingo Beach tomorrow um, And then if we do get a rental car, maybe even if we don't whatever I'm gonna try and do karaoke again i um, gonna be in much com more comfortable clothing. I put on my bug my bug lotion, I don't have bug spray, so I put on my bug lotion that I had from like when I went to Thailand or whatever. And hopefully, tonight is a way better night than last night, because last night was not it. So we got a rental car, and I'm kind of upset it never even like, it never clicked or occurred to me from before to get a rental car, because we could have saved like a lot more on like transportation. 
and we wouldn't have been stranded when we tried to go to Baby Beach as well. Um, but whatever, it's all in hindsight. Um, so it's 80, it's 60, I think $3 US from today, which is Thursday until, why is it looking like that? Oh, it's getting mad foggy. So it's 60, 63 from today, which is Thursday, until Saturday morning when we leave, which is like 83 Canadian. Um, that pretty much covers what we pay round trip to go to O'Neill's because just to go to O'Neill's is 80 US Like there to go to San Nicolas. Let me just say to go to San Nicolas and back is 80 US round trip So we basically cover that in one day with our what we're paying So um, it also allows us to go back to karaoke tonight and then to go back to YOLO tomorrow So it's way worth it. So honestly Rent a car guys. Rent a car. A rental car <laughs> The process is actually super easy. Um, in the rains, we got a rental car. Um, we came right back to San Nicolas. So we're gonna go eat at O'Neill's. Yummy. So we got the festival. And we got the saltfish fritter with some chili sauce. All right, so I got fish and chips. Cider plantain. And he got the grilled salmon. All the meals come with salad, mashed potatoes, rice and peas, and plantains. Man, we tapped out. I barely touched my plate. I ate too much festival, and then by the time my meal came, I was done for. Pants unbuttoned and everything. Could not finish it. Got to go. Um, but I'm so full. We're just gonna go to Eagle Beach. <laughs> Beach guys so it was like what 30 minutes from O'Neill's it's right by the um, the high-rise hotels you can see it from over there it's not that honestly it's not hot outside so like I don't really think we're gonna go in the water we're just gonna um, lay out on our towels that we brought so I'm just gonna lay it on towels and just like probably sleep cuz I'm super tired um, we parked like right there parking was free it took a while to even find here where to park you have to drive like so far in so it's like 9 30 <laughs> karaoke starts at 9 30 so by the time we get there and they set up karaoke should already be started give it up for the t-shirt don't do karaoke every night it's only on Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 30 but they still let me do it anyways and lit the bartender the bartender gave us two free shots lit it was amazing like tonight was beautiful so obviously we got there late because we thought it was karaoke so we thought it started after 9 30 so we're probably only there for like an hour but that hour was Amazing like I'm still in a high right now, and I'm upset that everything goes at 11 like we're just gonna go for a walk So I can like come down off my high but like Beautiful and then for the fact that we drove we didn't have to spend any money on taxis and then parking was free guys Parking was free. Okay, so we thought we had to pay for parking. It was like I think it's a dollar US per hour a dollar 75 a Ruben a Rubian currency <laughs> I don't even remember what it's called but um, Yeah, when we left the, the gates were up, so we didn't have to pay for parking, so it was even better. Man, rent a car, guys. Rent a car. Woke up super early at like 6 a.m. because we wanted to be on the first boat. Oh my gosh, it's so funky. We wanted to be on the first boat to get to Flamingo Island, um, but there's no sun and it looks like it's gonna rain, so I doubt that's gonna happen. Look at outside. Definitely one aggressor. That's very aggressive. When I was feeding it, it bit me. And it's a big one. 
gonna go eat at Pelican Pier, which is on, which is basically in an off Palm Beach. And so we're gonna go there, and then we're just gonna go to Palm Beach. And then I think after, I think we're gonna end up at Eagle Beach. We have a reservation for 7 p.m. at YOLO. Right now it's like what? It's almost 11. No, it's like it's not even 10:30 yet. But um, we have a reservation at 7 for YOLO, so we just have to make sure we're back at like 6. We ended up right back where we're going to be tonight and where we came yesterday. The exact same strip. This is clearly the high-rise hotel. This is clearly where it's popping or everything else. Pelican burger, pumped with egg on it, yummy yummy, and cheese. Yeah, just a fish sandwich. Nice view. Palm Beach is definitely way, way, way more busy than um, Eagle Beach because, like, all the hotel or along this entire strip but this is where you basically do all your water activities like there's like a million places to do your water activities like your jet skiing or paddle boats this one there this one there it's like four up along this row and then you can see it in the water yeah we got rained out um it started to pour when we were right when we we're about to right when we we're getting ready to leave palm beach it started to pour um, so we were supposed to go to Flying Fish Want to Eat. They don't open till 5 and it's like 3 a.m. Oh my gosh, my hair's so messy. And they don't open till like 5 8, five. So we're just gonna chill at our hotel. And then we're gonna go from Flying Fish Bone to YOLO because our reservation's at 7. They open at 5. By the time we eat and do everything, it's probably gonna be around 7 anyways. Artichoke carpaccio. Artichoke carpaccio. Carpaccio. Mm -hmm. I'm actually super disappointed in the music that they're playing. Like, this was not what they're playing on Monday. What they're playing on Monday was like way better. The DJ was way better. The transitions were way better. Like I don't know what this is tonight, but like I'm super disappointed. We're leaving super early because like what is this? They had a live DJ till what? Like nine 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 thirty, and then it's a DJ and the DJ's not the DJ's not it, man, not it. I have to say, I'm disappointed in Yolo. Um, I feel like on Monday we were teased. On Monday they played like lit music, transitions were blast, whatever. And then today it was live music until like what nine, nine thirty, and then the DJ. And it just wasn't it. And then like we were told how Friday's like the lit day, everyone comes on Friday, make reservations on Friday. And then we ended up being late <laughs> flying fish. I mean flying flying fish, but we ended up being late. And then like it still wasn't packed it still wasn't like what they hyped it up to be so i won't lie i was i was a bit disappointed but we made it some time for happy hour but on another note flying fishbone is it um i didn't know what it was <laughs> i didn't know what it was when i signed up okay so i didn't know it was like um it was off a beach so like i wore sneakers and socks when you could be bare feet and i didn't know you had the option to eat dinner with your feet actually in the water. So like I didn't know any of that. I just told, I was just told, oh hey, go to Flying Fishbone, whatever, that's it. So be prepared when you go. Um, it was raining today when we went, so no one was actually sitting like um, in the water, obviously, because it was already wet and your food would get wet. And so we were under the tent, but the food was bomb. I brought some home because it was bomb. All right guys, last day here, um, so it's like, I think around 10 o'clock. Um, we're gonna go eat at some place called Salt and Pepper because we open at eight. Um, and then we have to return our car and then we have to check out at 12. And then we have a transfer picking us up at 1.15 to bring us to the airport two hours before our flight leaves. Um, for some reason during COVID, they don't allow you to check in online. So we actually have to check in there. Um, so that's the end of our trip. 
Um, amazing trip, loved it. But that's it. And guess where we are again, guys? The High Rise Hotel Street. So clearly, if you come to Aruba, stay in a high rise hotel because everything's on this strip. Unless you're just gonna get a rental car and keep going back and forth between the low rise and the high rise because well, we're back here. This is where salt and pepper is. I didn't know ahead of time. Last meal, just got breakfast, French toast, turkey bacon, eggs, and hash browns. We got a Checkout is at 12. Our pickup is at 1.15, so we um, we went to go eat, made it back, checked out, dropped off our car, came right back to the hotel, and now we literally, I don't know what time it is, it's like 12.30? Yeah, it's like 12.30, so we're just sitting here, I'm just drinking water, um, might just get like a one, two drink before we go, and then back to the airport, and then it's back to Toronto. But this is for non-US departures though, so obviously for non-US departures, it's far less like our airplane was even empty coming here, so it's probably going to be empty going back, but like, there's no one there. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. 